Thanks for tuning in to this episode of the Texas Fly Fishing Report. This is the companion YouTube channel to www.texasflycaster.com where you can go to find highly detailed information about fly fishing in Texas. Hey guys, it's Friday, June the 30th, and thanks for tuning in to another Texas Fly Fishing Report. This report is going to be short and sweet because I've been up to other videos. If you check the channel, I've kind of split something off and added uh, Texas Skiff, which I have that website. I was going to launch it a few years ago, and then I got sick and all that. So it talks about it in those videos. But um, go ahead and check out some of those Skiff videos. All I'm trying to do is, like I did with the Texas Flycaster website 10 years ago, I'm just trying to add information that you guys might want. If you own a skiff, if you got information, I would love to hear from you. Uh, really, it's about mods and things like that and techniques for, I'm going to go over techniques for polling and things like that that I'm learning on the job, really. Um, so check out the uh, Texas skiff segments and I'll bury one in here on uh, this post today on Texas Flycaster, www.texasflycaster.com. That's where you always want to go to get more information than what we have simply here on the YouTube videos. I only know about two things for sure. One is North Texas and it's very windy and that's put me off my game quite a bit. Um, conditions that would otherwise be very good for my guiding for carp are kind of getting squashed by the winds right now. There's a three or four days coming uh, that should be spectacular, uh, but for the wind. The only thing, other thing I know for sure is that I heard from Danny Scarborough. He's www.houstonflyfishing.com and he said the blue water's in near shore. He was in Port Aransas on the jetties and catching smacks. For those of you who don't know what smacks are, that's Spanish mackerel and he said uh, he saw people conventionally catching kings off the jetties too so that's pretty spectacular news right there to catch kingfish off the jetties and it opens up a whole new world if uh, if you if you want to woman up and man up and try something off the jetties I would head for Port Aransas now but with the winds you know and the changing of tides that blue water can move offshore again so always know before you go if you contact me I will find out the latest from down there I always try to hook up uh, potential clients with guides that I know. For example, I've got a friend headed to Port Aransas for a few days next week, and he definitely he contacted me right away about a guide. If you're a guide down there, contact me. Let me know what you do. Show me and tell me, and I will uh, definitely add you to my uh, Rolodex, my phone Rolodex, so to speak. I uh, The rest of what I have is, is really just the things I'm just going to tear off the scroll from Texas Parks and Wildlife Department and scroll it at the end and like I said last week take the TPWD information with a grain of salt because I'm starting to suspect that that information uh, is cut and pasted every week and it's just not changing enough considering the changes that happen year-round in Texas water so I'm a little worried about that but not a lot I think they, they spend a lot of time on what to me is the most important part of the state, and that is the Texas Gulf Coast. Even though they completely missed the uh, tropical storm that came ashore last week, uh, that's not too surprising. Uh, they try to put the best, the best spin on everything about Texas waters and Texas fishing because that's their job. So anyway, that uh, from what I hear really has cleaned out the system. Things are still going good on the coast. It's really in change mode. You know, we never really let up through the winter time. So we're seeing behavior that's a few months ahead of schedule right now, a couple months out ahead uh, on the coast. It's kind of um, interesting and unique in that, that respect. And that's what I'm reading and seeing on uh, television reports and things like that. All these things are available to you. I just try to comp compress this down uh, and give it to you in a way that you don't have to go look for it. If you want to contact me, I can tell you where I find more information than what simply I've quoted with TPWD. I'll be glad to provide that to you. So those are the two things. Blue water in close on the coast, Port Aransas. And second, we've got some high winds here and some, some volatility in the weather. 
in North Texas where I guide for carp. Thanks for tuning in. I, uh, my schedule is getting tighter, so come next week, there may or may not be a report. It's just based on me being able to get out and guide and fish and, and then also come back home to the fly bar and provide you guys with a report. It, uh, it's, it's getting pretty dense as far as time. So don't be surprised if I'm off for a couple of weeks, but don't be surprised if I drop some uh, action video on you next week. Please feel free to subscribe to the Texas Flycaster YouTube channel. We're close to 1,000 subscribers, which is really cool. I'd like to have 10,000 within two years, so I've got high goals. And I would love for you to go to www.texasflycaster.com again just to find out more information there. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend.